Hey guys, what's up? It's once again mp4podcast.com and today I want to talk about the iPad mini. Is this the right tablet for you? So that's what we're going to break it down. I'm going to break it down in a few different categories and we'll see if this is the iPad that you should get. Now, the iPad mini, what is special about the iPad mini? Well, it's the 7-inch display. Now, what's really great about the 7-inch display? Well, it I'm going to be very frank. It's gaming. Gaming, gaming, gaming. If you like to play first-person shooters, 7-inch display. If you like to play Angry Birds, 7 inch display. The reason because the 7 inch display is like the perfect size between the, the, the cell phones and the huge tablets it's just it's right in the middle it's very easy to hold and uh, it's just very comfortable. Now I prefer playing with the 7 inch displays when I'm in bed or I'm on the couch or just sitting in a chair. I go for the 7 inch displays uh, all the time. If I have the same game on you know my Android tablet, my Acer or my Amazon Kindle or my Blackberry playbook I'll go with one of those devices over my new iPad now of course a lot of the a lot of my top games I do like not all of them are on Android so I will still go for the uh, the new iPad if a game is not available on uh, you know Android and it just comes down to the size of your hands now I think this is a really smart move for uh, Apple to bring out the 7 inch display for gamers also there are people with smaller hands that want something smaller a lot of people will say well they don't really have to bring out a 7 inch Display is an iPod Touch and, and I, you know, the iPhone. Well, not everybody wants the contract, and I'll be quite frankly. I have the iPod Touch fourth generation. I can tell you the battery is pretty shitty. Um, it only holds about a, a half an hour charge and it's completely dead by that time. So the iPad, what's great about the iPad, the batteries do hold a really good charge if you want to be gaming, watching movies, doing all the other things. Now let's look at the iPad mini. We all know, uh, you know, there's a black one and there's a white one. Well, black, the black one is black and slate. I believe that's like a hard rubber or plastic could be wrong about that but if it is some form of rubber or plastic whatever it is that'll be very good if you want to protect it from getting scratches i can tell you any of the ios devices that have a silver backing get extremely extremely scratched up now the white silver from what i'm looking at does seem to be somewhat um, of a metal finish. Maybe it's like the uh, new iPad, where it's not as scratchy as like, let's say, um, the iPod Touch 4th generation or the iPod, uh, the cl classic models or something like that. So, you know, which one would you get? The black one or the white one? Um, I always go for the white one just because if you do like to read outside, the white one, the, 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 plas the, the plastic, the white plastic will reflect sunlight heat and help to keep the device a little Little bit cooler if you like to read like ebooks outside from Amazon, the Amazon store, or the iBook store, whatever like that. Now, of course, if you're inside, it really doesn't make any difference if you get the black one or the white one. Just go with the one that you prefer prefer the most. But also keep in uh, consideration a lot of times you put cases on these devices, and once you put the case on, it really doesn't make any difference what color it is, uh, unless you don't like looking at the edges or something like that. Now, what type of models are there? There's the Wi-Fi and the Wi-Fi cellular. Um, uh, you know, so you can get like Verizon or AT&T service on it. Storage is 16 gigs, 32 and 64. That's both Wi-Fi and Wi-Fi cellular. Wi-Fi that you get is A, B, G, and N, and that's uh, uh, 2.4 uh, gigahertz and 5 gigahertz. So it has a little bit of, um, you know, it changes frequencies. Also, there's uh, Bluetooth 4.0 uh, 4 wireless technology, and uh, there's GSM, and there's a whole bunch of stuff. I'll, I'll I'll leave the, uh, the Apple link in the description box so you guys can check it. Now, this comes with AT&T, Sprint, and Verizon, so you have a little bit of a choice right here and there. I will say this. People who have tested the Wi-Fi, uh, I mean the wire, uh, you know, the, the, the LT or whatever you want to call it, um, the Verizon service is really good for uh, unique internet service. Um, it's $50 a month. It's like 5 gigs, so it's really, really, really pricey. If you need if you need to take your iPad out there and, you know, do schoolwork, you need internet, and for that type of price, you may want to go with uh, Virgin Mobile. They have a really good service. You know, you get the little hot 
Pocky Pocky on the 4G sir, um, device. And I think it's like 50 bucks and it's unlimited amount of uh, internet service. So uh, that looks pretty good. Now it does come with the A5 processor. Um, this is a dual core uh, chip. Now I don't think you get the, um, the quad core graphics. I'm looking on their site right now. It doesn't say anything about that. However, I don't think it's really gonna be that necessary. Um, if you look at the game uh, Nova 3, which is kind of a, a, a Halo uh, mashed in with Crisis, that's what a lot of people have said. Nova 3 actually had more uh, graphic uh, special effects in the iPad 2 version than what the new iPad had, okay? And that was because the new iPad, even though it had a faster uh, 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 chip in there, it had to uh, run at a higher resolution, so it took a hit on that. With the iPad 2, uh, with the lower resolution, even though it had a uh, slower chip, was able to do more special effects. So just because you have a faster chip doesn't always mean you're going to get m uh, better graphics. It depends on the resolution and something like that. It's just like when, uh, you know, if you've ever been a PC gamer and you uh, put the resolution at the very top and you max everything out, of course your chip will run slower. Okay, the camera... Uh... Um, let me see. Um, FaceTime camera is 1.2 uh, 1, 1 meg megapixels. Now that's not too bad, I guess, for front-facing camera. 720p HD recording. The eyesight camera is 5 uh, megapixels. And it's autofocus. Now I and, and it records in 1080p HD. Now I will say this: I have the new iPad. The camera is pretty good. It's not as good as the iPhone 4s, but it's pretty good. It's actually not not a bad camera. Uh, however, I highly we ever use it um i guess it's nice to have maybe if your kids are doing something funny or your cats and that's the only camera you have you're, you're holding maybe you're reading a book or something playing a video game something funny happened and you switched over to the camera however i don't really use it at all probably i probably use like my uh iphone 3gs or my droid x or one of those cameras because of the apps uh that I, it's just easy to have around with you and that's what i use so that's my thoughts on the device i will say this if you are a person that likes to sit down in a chair and read websites the full desktop versions okay of a website I do prefer the larger size uh, on my new iPad over the 7 inch I prefer the larger size for reading uh, websites the most I don't prefer pinching and zooming, zooming. even though it is a little um, I don't want to say awkward to hold but usually I'll hold it with two hands maybe one hand and then I'll move one finger uh, wherever I want to click with the seven inch de device you will have to pinch and zoom a lot more if you're not into pinching and zooming and you don't like that then definitely stick with the larger size but if you're a gamer then go with the smaller size one other quick note that i do want to talk about is that you know i don't want to feel like i'm bashing apple but i really wish apple would look into the human rights abuses that happen at foxconn uh, the factory that makes all these ios devices uh, you know they have to put nets out because people people commit suicide there's bars in the windows so people don't jump out there was a man that committed suicide because he lost an iphone 4 so those are the things that as an apple fan um i would really like to see i would really like to see apple um um do more for fox kind of say hey if you don't fix these problems uh we're gonna um go to another factory to get our stuff made uh just last week uh foxconn had underage workers working there at foxconn and at foxconn um girls have to take a pregnancy test uh, once a month um, if they don't take their pregnancy test they don't get paid and if they're found pregnant they also don't get, get paid foxconn is not a good place to work a lot of people have said it is slave labor so that's that's my gripe with apple i do i do love their products but i don't like what happens with foxconn so once again guys this is mp4podcast.com let me know in uh in the comments below uh if you're gonna get an ipad mini or if you have any questions I'll try to answer them, answer them as soon as possible. Once again, guys, mp4podcast.com saying you guys have a good one. Later, guys, bye. I almost forgot. Please subscribe.